Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the fifth video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to add a VMware ESXi host 5.5 to vCenter server so let's see my infrastructure so I have four virtual machines as I have previously using first one is my Active Directory server which is Win2K8 DC01 you can verify from here my Win2K8 DC01 on roles you can see I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and my second server is like vCenter server I have installed vCenter server on this machine also I have installed a vSphere web client on this machine you can see my previous videos for that and we have two EXXI hosts ESXI, ESXI 01 and EXXI 02 so I am going to add both the v, both the ESX host on my vCenter infrastructure so now I am going to launch my VMware vSphere client to connect my vCenter server I have typed my vCenter server name and I am using the Windows credential my this account is Active Directory uh, created on Active Directory infrastructure and which have uh, like access and authentication on my uh, uh, VMware vCenter server so click on login so you can see it's connecting So here we are, the evolution was done, 59 days left, click cancel and we have like data center here, go and close this one and we have created our data center India in our previous window so previous window so I am going to add my host here. So before adding my host I want to make a DNS entry for both the my ESX host. So I am going on my AD server and go to administrative tools, launch the DNS and under, under the forward lookup I am going to create a host record for ESX, ESXi01 I am going to put the IP address 192.168.1.251 1 and create the PTR record and allow the authentication to update the DNS add host so it's added and for the second esx i hyphen zero two and put the ip address one nine two one six eight one dot two five two and add host so now if i go here and i ping the my esxi host like ping esxi iPhone zero one. You can get the reply for my awful qualified domain name for the ESXi. And same if we go with the uh, ESXi host too, you get the response from as well as. So I'm going to click on my data center, right click and add host. Under the host, we need to type the name or just IP. So I'm going to use name and the username and the password for the user account so asxi-01 click next and on the next page you get go, you will get the host summary so it's so it's like for thumbprint click yes and here you can see the name full qualified name and vendor in my infrastructure I am running the both ESXi on VMware vCenter uh, VMware workstation so it's it's giving the vendor name VMware and model is VMware otherwise you, you will get going to get the like physical server like vendor Dell and the server name is Dell Power Edge 2900 these type of uh, the list of virtual machine which are running on the ESX host so I have no machine uh, uh, running on the ASX host 01 so click next and the license I'm going with the uh, evolution version click next and the lockdown mode I'm not going to enable the lockdown mode here I will explain the lockdown mode in my next videos so click next and virtual machine placement no to worry and here's the detail like host name version of ESX and the build 
and the networks data store and the lockdown mode is disabled so we are good to go click on finish so under the task you will able to find adding a standalone host in process and uh, initiated by you can see initiated by a uh, vcenter admin which is our user account and the start time and completed time so it will take some few seconds to get the added this in our infrastructure so I'm going to add the second ESX host as well as so you can see 80% is completed so just write pattern and add host and put the ESX I 0 to and the user ID my account root and password for the root account and click next and yes about the thumbprint same information here click next evaluation no enable click next and finish so now you are able to see both the standalone host esx1 and esx2 is adding here in our uh, data center so it will take some time you can see for like it's done with for the ESX host 1 and ESX host 2 both and now you can go here and close the add virtual machine wizard so then you will get the like summary page of the host here we are on a summary page you can see the all the details manufacture model CPU core and number of the socket number of processor core per socket and logical processor we have eight logical processors a number of NIC for state connected every detail is here and you can see also the utilization of the memory and CPU here and if you go to virtual machine you are able to find the running virtual machine all together here resource allocation you can see the like memory storage everything here and under the performance click on advanced you will able to see the what's going on with the uh, uh, like performance with the CPU and RAM on the real time configuration is the very important thing here like you can see the processor detail here memory details like virtual machines system and total and under the storage you are able to find uh, your data stores or connected the alarms and everything here under the networking you are able to find the networking details like standard switch and management these details and storage adapter you can you are able to find the HBA card here network addresses adapters you are able to see how much uh, how many network adapter is connected with your ESX host so I have a uh, four NIC connected with my ESX host all the four are like 100 or uh, uh, 1 Gbps so you will get the details here on the advanced page and the power management so this is basically related to hardware and this is related to like software so on the task and event you are able to see any task or event related to ASX host particularly so on the lab page permissions which host which account have permission on your ASX host we have uh, three account all are the administrators and under the map you can see the like logical connectivity with your infrastructure if you go here and select the all like and apply relation you are able to see data storage connected with ESX host and ESX host is connected with the our network so this is something like you, you, you have a map update now you can see the storage view here and the hardware status also as well as so this is the all about the like adding the ESX host and uh, taking care about the uh, uh, basic things which is like here and if you go and click here uh, like create cluster you can create a new cluster by here and I am going to show the how to create a cluster and uh, further things in my next videos so we have successfully the added the like
the ESX source and same if you want to remove it you can remove it from here just go here and remove and yes do you want to remove the ESX source yes and it will remove your ESX source from like you can say from the data store data center and you can see remove is totally com completed and again if you want to add the host here you can simply follow the the same procedure ESXi-02 and the credential and the username and password enter next and I will get the all the details together and just click on finish so adding remove adding the ESX host in vCenter server or any data center you will not going to lose any setting any configuration any virtual machine from the ESX host so so you can see machine is added once again so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query related to this video you can drop me a mail on my given mail ad thank you once again bye bye